What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well. So in today's video, I have a whole lot of makeup that I'm gonna be chucking on my face and letting you guys know my thoughts, AKA a first impression. I'm sure it's no secret to any of you guys that um, I buy a lot of makeup. I review a lot of makeup, which means I buy a lot of makeup. So anytime I can save money, regardless of how big or small the discount is, Yes, please. Which is why I'm very excited to have once again teamed up with ShopTagger. If you guys don't know about ShopTagger, it is a free online web app. I'm not about just promoting random apps. It's not really like my brand. I don't even know what my brand is at this point. But like, I am just as much of an advocate for ShopTagger in real life, as well as like my online life. My friends tend to ask me quite a lot if I have any discount codes, obviously because I do work with a lot of different brands. But I'm always like, mate, get ShopTagger. It's all you need. So the way that ShopTagger works, like I said, it is a free online web app. You can use it on your phone, but you can also download it on your browser. It's so easy to download. It literally takes like three clicks and it is free. But the most important part, it is free. You can save money and you don't have to spend anything to save money. Did I mention it was free? Like there's no catch. It saves you money. It gives you discount codes. It lets you know when things are back in stock and it is free. Free. So the way that ShopTagger works is say, for example, there's a product that you want, like a palette or something, but you don't necessarily want to buy it full price or say it's out of stock. All you do is literally save that product to your ShopTagger wish list. There's like a little pop-up that you can click on the side that makes it so easy. When you're saving the product to your wish list, you can actually select what kind of discount you want. So like 25% off, 50% off, whatever. So you save it to your list, then depending on whether you're using ShopTagger on your phone or on your web browser, you can get push notifications that let you know when things are either in stock or when they've got a nice juicy discount. So that was initially the main thing that made me fall in love with ShopTagger, but then they introduced their discount codes, which literally appear as you check out. Like, you don't have to do anything, just as long as you've got ShopTagger downloaded, once you go to check out, if it's like a website that ShopTagger works with, which there's a lot, it'll just pop up and go, hey, wanna try these discount codes? And nine times out of 10, you will save some money. Like, you don't have to do anything, you don't actually have to even put any codes in yourself, it just does it automatically. So that was initially the thing that made me fall in love with ShopTagger, but then they introduced their discount code. So basically, as long as you've got the ShopTagger button downloaded, you would just be going along as normal, doing your usual shop, go to checkout, suddenly you get a little pop-up and it says, hey, wanna try these discount codes? And within a few seconds, ShopTagger has literally searched for all of the best discount codes on the internet for that website. So you can literally save money by doing nothing. They also recently introduced a cashback feature, but like stay with me here. I know that kind of thing is usually quite boring, but you don't actually have to do anything. You just earn money back when you shop at certain retailers. Like I've already earned a couple of quids. I might not be, I might not be like raking it in, but I'll, I'll take a couple of quids. Honestly, I just bloody love it. Like I get a lot of requests to feature different apps and everything in my videos. I say no to every single one of them, apart from ShopTagger because I use it pretty much every single day. Like sponsorship or not, if they decided to cut ties with me right now, I would still continue to use it. So yeah, if you guys haven't downloaded ShopTagger already, what are you waiting for? I will of course leave links to everything in the description box down below, so make sure you do check that out. Including all of the links for the makeup I'm about to chuck on my face. So um, let's get into that, shall we? All right, so first of all, before I do my base makeup and everything, I wanna do my brows. You guys know I don't normally do my brows first, but I wanna try it with this. So this is the Pink Honey Honey Glue Super Hold Banana Birthday Edition Glue stuff. I haven't tried this. I've only sniffed it like 8,000 times. I have a bunch of them. This one is so good. I have like the original, this one, which is like the banana scented. That honestly, I just bought because it's banana scented. Why do you guys like it when I say banana? Like, do I say that funny? Banana. Banana. So yeah, I have the banana one. And then I also have the cola cubes one, which again, smells great. So I think all you're supposed to do with this is just spray your spoolie. And then you might be able to see there's like a little hole and you just pop it in there. And then I guess I just like spin it around. I think you're supposed to get like quite like a, a strong paste, you know? And I think all you do is literally just kind of like brush it up like soap brows. So I'm just gonna squidge them down like so. Seems like a nice product. Like I've obviously tried actual soap. I've tried, I've tried like soap specifically made for brows and this one seems really nice. There's no like bits or anything in it. It seems quite smooth. It hasn't like clogged up my brows either. I mean, should I just like try this one as well? The tint? Ooh. I don't know what I did differently then, but that just went like swing. My brows are just like, hello right now. Uh, obviously they're looking a little bit mental right now, but hopefully we'll like balance it out with a shitload of makeup. So now move on to primer. I have had this primer for a long time. This is the Time Balm um, face primer. Yeah, 
for a flawless face. Yes, please. And this is from The Balm. I've not heard anything about this. I got it, like I said, ages ago. Oh no. Is it like a pore filly kind of one? Oh no, it might just be kind of like a moisturizing sort of primer. Why does it smell a bit like petrol? Like, it's one of my favorite smells, so I'm not mad at it, but I'm like, why does it smell like petrol? Why? Okay, it is a pore filly kind of primer, which aren't usually my faves because they do kind of ball up on my skin a little bit. But this actually does feel quite moisturizing. It's not like an overly dry, silicone-y sort of primer. I might have a Harry Potter marathon tonight, you know? I might edit some videos and watch all of the Harry Potters until they fall asleep and then wake up tomorrow and then continue to watch them. Okay, to be fair, that actually has kind of smoothed up my pores quite a bit. Obviously, you guys aren't going to be able to see it too much on here. Maybe on the macro, you can kind of see my skin. So now we move on to foundation. Now, this is where things get interesting because as you guys might be able to see, in fact, I think this is the first video I've actually filmed since I've been back. I have a tan, beach. Yeah, I've been away. I've been away for like two weeks. Some of you guys probably didn't even notice because I did still post videos and stuff. But I had like two weeks away. I'm feeling great. But yeah, um, I'm not really sure how many of my foundations are actually going to match me because this is like the darkest that I've been in a long time. So I have this Nabla foundation, which... Yeah, it's quite pale. I then have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind foundation thing, which... Um... That doesn't look too bad, actually. I might use that one. My tan never lasts on my face, so I'm sure I'll get used out of this very, very soon. But yeah, I've had this for a while. Um, it's the, yeah, just the Age Rewind foundation. Oh, this makes me happy. I know so many people don't like this. I do. I don't really care that it's a little bit unhygienic because it's my own face. Like, I do a lot of things on my face that I probably shouldn't. Using a sponge on it, I'm okay with that. So the color that I got, by the way, I don't think I actually said, is 190 Nude. I do also have this guy here from Primark. It's their Bronze Whip um, Cream Bronzer, which you guys have been asking me to try out. So I can always like warm it up a little bit with that. Right, let's just draw it on. Let's paint it all on like that thick. I don't know what I'm doing here, to be honest. Normally I would do like some kind of nice lines or something, but I've just started just drawing all over my face. Like I don't give a shit because I don't. So I'm just gonna blend that out with a buffing brush. Oh no, I did a bad thing. Just did a bad thing. Honestly, I haven't worn makeup really in, yeah, probably like two weeks. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Um, I should have like gotten rid of the soap around my eyebrow, shouldn't I? That would have been a good idea. All right, so first impressions, what are we thinking? Okay, that's gone and dried up in my hair. Ignore that. It's um a lot more matte than I thought it would be. Like, I don't know, I don't think I like it. <laughs> it just seems like a very kind of... Hi. I'm not giving you attention right now. All I do is give you attention. Ugh. I don't like what this is doing on my nose. Can you see it? It's like, it's just so dry looking. Like there's some areas of it, I'm like, okay, that's not bad. But my nose looks really bad. Yeah, not a fan of that, I don't think. No. Okay, that's fun. I'm just gonna try and cover up like all of this with some concealer. So this is the close-up concealer from Nabla. I got it in the shade Cream Beige. If you hear Michael just shuffling around in the back, just ignore him. Don't give him attention because he will continue. So I've got like a big doe foot. And I'm gonna go under my eyes like that. I'm trying to buff the edges of that out with my brush. Oh, I think it smells like coconut. Oh, no, no, no. My face is so crusty right now. I'm gonna go over my nose with concealer as well because that foundation is not my friend. What is going on with my face? It's like it just does not want to accept makeup. Oh, come on now, that is bad. Do you think it's the primer? I might take this off and I might just use like a moisturizer or something because this is not, this is not nice. All right, let's do, um, let's take two. Gonna reapply all that um, without any primer or anything. And we'll see how it works because this ain't it, chief. See, even that's still looking dodge. I think it's, mm, just don't like the foundation to be honest. Try some of this concealer. 
Okay, that's already better. So yeah, I'm not digging the primer. The foundation is a no-go for me as well, but I think the concealer is quite nice. Okay, that's better. I'm not loving it. I think the concealer is nice. I think it's quite nice for like an under eye concealer. Foundation is a no-go for me. I mean, maybe on like really oily skin it could work. So now just warm me up a little bit, match my body a bit more. I'm going to be using the Primark, um, what's it called? The Bronze Whip Velvet Finish Cream Bronzer. This cost me four pounds. Um, and I think everyone's kind of saying it's like a dupe for the Chanel Tan de Soleil cream thingy. I'm just gonna take some of that on here. I mean, the formula is actually quite nice, the way it blends out and everything. It's just not really showing up on my skin. Does that look any different? I'm not sure it does. Okay, that actually works it better. Just going straight in with my sponge. Oh, this foundation, man, I don't like this foundation. Like, can you see that there? It's just gonna like bully. And I was so excited to use it with this little sponge head. I got this in the shade Light. Oh, it's tiny. That's what she said. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some of this. And you guys know the drill by now. I'm just gonna set my under eyes. Like this under eyes looking pretty good at the moment. So let's see what it can do. Forehead's not too bad. It looks a little bit dry in some areas, but it's okay. This is actually kind of making the foundation look better. And for that, I am very impressed. Like under my eyes, it looks really, really nice. Yeah, that actually looks better from the powder. So I will continue to give this a go with other foundations. Let me know if you guys want me to use it in like another video or something. It's very rare that you put a powder onto a crap foundation and it makes it look better. So I'm very impressed by that. So now I'm gonna be loading myself up with bronzer. This is the Flower Beauty Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer. That looks very buttery, hello. Right, let's take some of that. Okay, it is super pigmented, wow. Doesn't look fully matte because it does kind of have like a little bit of shimmer in it, but that's fine. Ooh, wait, that is, that is literally going on so smoothly. Like considering I'm not into the foundation, considering I don't like the base, that's actually going on really, really nicely. I love finding, I know it's obviously early days, but I love finding new bronzers that I like because I don't know, I find it can be a little bit tricky to find like the bronzer. Yeah, not bad. The base is looking so much better now. I literally think the powder and this bronzer kind of saved the day. Now I'm gonna go in with the Sigma Blush Cheek Palette, which I've had for a while. I swear I've used this before, but it's still in my non-use drawer, so who knows? This color here used to be one of my most favorite blushes ever, called Rosa. I had it in like the single from Sigma. I think I might try a little bit of pink in. So yeah, I literally used to love the formula of these blushes. It's actually a lot more pinky than I thought it was gonna be. What? Yeah, the formula of these blushes is really nice. Um, like I said, it's not really a new thing for me because I have tried out one of these blushes before, but yeah, nice enough. So now we'll move on to highlighter. My favorite part. So I have the loose highlighter here from Anastasia. It is in the shade Vegas. Oh my God, it looks so beautiful. Look at that, look at it. I'm gonna take some of this on a Morphe M438 brush. Let's see. A bit more golden than I'm used to. Like at first I was like, okay, it looks kind of chunky and a bit like, yeah, just a bit chunky. Actually, as you blend it out, it does really kind of buff into the skin. It's really pretty actually, isn't it? I don't know, I was expecting a little bit more, a bit more like wow factor. It is nice though, don't get me wrong, it is very, very nice. It's just, I don't know, just not 100% what I was expecting. So next I have this setting spray here from Wet n Wild. This one is in collaboration with Bretman Rock. It's called the three-in-one face mist. So I'm gonna give it a shake, because you can probably see it's got like little kind of like shimmery particles in there. It smells like a pina colada. I'm gonna pop that everywhere. It's a very fine mist. It has made a bit of a difference though, actually. Like I was looking at the camera thinking like, has it made much of a difference? But it's made a very kind of subtle difference, which I guess is what you want. Like, okay, for like videos and pictures and stuff, sometimes you do want to be looking like a disco pool. Pool? <laughs> it's disco pool. Some, you do not want to be looking like disco pool. That's really pretty actually. I really wasn't expecting too much because I have had some bad experiences with sprays like this. I've had some very good experiences, but I've also, 
I'm just alluding to the fact that I hated the Revolution one. It ruined my makeup that time and I've not quite gotten over that. But this is actually so nice. Like, I'm going in with a bit more because I was a little bit scared of it at first. Yeah, the more I'm like looking at that, the more I'm like, actually, that's really bloody nice. All right, so now I'm just gonna fill in a few little spaces in my brows using the Maybelline Brow Tint Pen in Deep Brown. So I'm not gonna do too much with this. I'm literally just gonna like fill in a few little hairs. So it's got like a four prong, ooh, yes. Like, this probably isn't showing you guys much. You might be able to see, look. It's got like the little prongs here. And it draws in little hair-like strokes. So all I kind of really want to do is just go... Doop. My brows are so crispy right now. I probably should have done this before I did the soap brows. It's so faint and obviously I know my brows are like pretty full right now anyway. So I don't need to fill in them too much. But it's just kind of filling in a few little sparse areas without it being too much. It's good for the little front bits actually. That's actually one of the better ones that I've tried out. I've tried out a lot of these kind of pencils and pens before. I don't get me wrong, this one did get a little bit clogged up, but it was very fine. Yeah, probably one of the better ones I've tried. I'm interested to try out the new Benefit one, actually. Let me know if you guys want me to do like a video on that. So now I'll move on to eyes. So for that, I have this Winky Lux eyeshadow palette. It's called the Coffee Palette and it smells like coffee. So it just looks like this. Obviously, as you can see, we're going for the neutral look today because I have this lipstick here from Melt, which you guys may remember from like a fairly recent haul from a few months ago or something. So this is the Melt uh, Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Tomboy. Mmm. In fact, I might even just put it on now, just so I can kind of gauge what the lip looks like with the eyes. Mmm. Yes. So obviously I don't have a line or anything to go with this. So I'm just gonna do my best. It's such like a green, gray. I kind of remembered it being more like greeny color, but I really like it. I really enjoy that. Really, 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 really enjoy that. So then I'm gonna go in with the Winky Lux palette. So let's have a little look here. I've always been curious about their eyeshadows actually, and their products in general, to be honest. I think first of all, I'm gonna go in with this shade here, just like a nice neutral brown. And I'll just blend that out in my crease. Haven't set my eyes down or anything yet. I'm just going in. I'm just gonna work that in my crease and then also kind of just further onto my lid just to set my lid a tiny bit. And then I'm gonna go in with a tiny little bit of that darker brown there, just on like the tip of the brush. I'm not changing the brush or anything. And I'll just blend that into the crease a bit more. I don't want it to be too warm because it's quite a warm brown. These blend out really easy. Like I know I'm just blending two browns together, but I've blended a lot of brown eyeshadows in my time and these are literally just doing it for me, to be honest. So then I think I'm gonna go in with this shade here. They do have names, but I don't know where the names are. So I'm just gonna slop that onto my lid. And we'll just see how we go. It's quite a subtle shimmer, actually. I was expecting it to be a bit more intense, but I really kind of like the color. Kind of matches my lipstick. I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit of that shimmer mixed with that matte brown shade that I used in my crease. And I'm gonna run that on my lower lash line. Like I said, nothing groundbreaking, but that's a really nice little neutrals palette. I'll swatch the kind of like gray shade for you. Might even put that gray shade on my eyes to be honest. Yeah, I am. It was looking a little bit more blue tone in the palette, but actually when you swatch it, it looks a bit more neutral. I'm just gonna kind of plonk that in the center. Yeah, I literally look so gray right now and I'm kind of loving it. And now I'm gonna take a tiny little bit of this like champagne shimmer shade on this little fluffy brush. And try that on the inner corner. Yeah, nice. Oh, that's a really good color. Whoa, okay. I mean, I might even just take a tiny little bit of that and just, just see. Just see what this looks like. If I just do that, you know? That's quite nice. Okay, so then I'm gonna move on to this mascara here. This is the Urban Decay Lash Freak Mascara. I have seen so many people talk about this. It says 23.6% more volume. I wonder how they got the 0.6. So it's got, that is a really freaking weird one to be fair. Look at that. 
Okay, like I'll bite. Let's see what you got. I'm gonna dip it in again just to make sure it's all coated and stuff. Why am I like a little bit scared of this? Okay. Okay, this is getting very messy because my lashes are so curled. Like this is curling my lashes even more. Okay. It's a weird one to get used to. Let me try out my lower lashes because obviously I don't have a lash lift on there at all. It does seem like a good mascara to be fair. It's just a little bit awkward to kind of use just because I'm getting used to whatever the hell this is. It is just obviously getting on my lid a bit because my lashes are already curled. It looks like a nice mascara. It's very strange to get used to, but like it did give my lashes quite a bit of volume and I really didn't put too much on because it is such a like black thick formula. I think it's a grower. I think it will take me a little bit of time to get used to, but I do think the formula's nice. Let me know if you've tried this. Homework time. Uh, if you have tried it, let me know how you find it wears and like your thoughts and feelings, best way to apply it. Let me know. It's hard to tell right now, but I do think I like it. Like I've got good, good feelings about it. Oh, I'm digging this. Like, okay, we'll cover up the other eye. Very cool toned. Very cool. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and then I will check back with you guys to show you how it's all looking and then we'll do some check-ins. All right guys, so this is how everything is looking right now. It's definitely a lot better than how it started. I really like the overall look. I actually love this lipstick. I feel like it's actually way more wearable than what you probably think. Because like now I've got more of my face on and everything. It's just like, oh, a cool tone nude. Whereas actually it's just freaking gray. So this is how everything is looking at the moment. I think on camera, it looks stunning. In person, it also looks nice, but I do think obviously the base isn't like my fave. It's currently 20 to nine in the morning. So honestly, I'm not gonna be able to keep this on for too long, just cause I do have my brow appointment at two o'clock. So I will try and leave it on until maybe like around one o'clock or something. So yeah, I'll check back with you guys in a few hours and we'll see how it looks. All right, it's a few hours later, it is now 20 past one in the afternoon. So I've got to go in a minute. I really don't think this looks much different. Like I know it's only been a few hours, so it's not gonna look too much different. I just feel like maybe, I actually kind of feel like the base looks better now. Now that it's kind of like sunk into my skin a little bit and like doesn't look so matte. Yeah, I think the base just looks kind of better. The highlights settled a little bit as well. My brows have literally stayed in the exact same position. Like they are not moving for anyone, but they don't feel crispy or anything. So very impressed with this guy. The lipstick is the only thing that has slightly worn off by the looks of things, but I mean, it was a lipstick, I didn't have lip liner, and it's still there, and I've had like breakfast and everything. No flaking on the mascara either. Um, yeah, to be honest, like again, I know it's only been a few hours, but it looks pretty good. Yeah, we had a lot of ups and downs. Like there were many points that I was just like, is this just how this whole video is gonna go? But we persevered, and I think it actually looks decent. Favorites would have to be, the brow gel stuff, this eyeshadow palette, this lipstick. Really like the bronzer, really like the powder. A lot of successes actually. I like the brow products, I like the mascara. Yeah, I like a lot. I just don't like this or this. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. If you guys do want to check out Shop Tagger, then I will of course leave links to everything in the description box down below as well as links to like all the products and everything. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.